They're on. Hi guys, Hi. it's Sandy. Hi Rosie. Hi guys, hi Sandy. Hi Rosie. Why the meat? Meat. Meat. Why the meat? Meat. Tell me where the meat comes from. Meat. Meat. Where did the meat come from? Meat. 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 Where did it come from? Meat. Meat. Why? Meat. Why? What happened at Walmart? What happened at Walmart? You're not going back there no more. Ever again. Never. No. Don't know what you'll come out like next time. No. No. We are going to be starting with Colossians chapter 1, verse 18, reading through chapter 2, verse 7. <laughs> what? What? Say it. Huh. Say it. Uh-uh. got to chew a tobacco over there in your lips, sure. Let's begin. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God has pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight. Without blemish and free from accusation, if you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel, this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up in my flesh what I still lack, in regard to Christ's afflictions. For the sake of his body, which is the church, I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages, the generation but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. I want you to know how hard I am contending for you and for those at Lodicea and for all who have not met me personally 
My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this, that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit, and delight to see how disciplined you are, and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your life in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in faith, as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. And that's where we're stopping with Colossians today. And our psalm today is Psalm 77. For the director of music, for Jethan of Asaph, a psalm. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart meditated, and my spirit asked, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, to this I will appeal. The years when the Most High stretched out his right hand, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, God. The waters saw you and wreathed. The very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The heavens resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea. Your way through the mighty waters. Though your footprints were not seen, you led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. And that was Psalm 77. And our Proverbs today is Proverbs 24. Verses 23 and 25. Further sayings of the wise. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty, and rich blessings will come on them. Okay, guys, well, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope that touched your guys' hearts. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We are going over to Brother Sherm now with your homework.
Where does the Bible talk about smoking? And our answer to that question is? It was in Genesis. Rebecca lighted off her camel. What? Rebecca lighted off her camel. Rebecca lighted off her camel. That's what it says. <laughs> I didn't write it. <coughs> the one I said was better. Right? What? Right? Right? Oh. And our homework for tonight is... Where is the second? What? That's the, that's the, that's the question. Where is the second? That's the question. I didn't write it. What? It's where? not what, it's where. Where is the second? Yeah. Second what? <laughs> second question mark. Was where is the second? That's the that's the question. Second what? Nothing. I don't know. That's what it says right there. Where is the second? There you are, folks. That is the question. What's the answer? Hey, tell me what it is. Well, that's a stupid question. Where is the second? I didn't write it. I read it. On the clock? No. You never want to get it, so we won't even try. Fine, whatever. I don't prayer book. <laughs> Dumb question. She's baby. racking her brain. Dumb question. She can't do it. Dumb question. It ain't my, hey. I didn't write it. You picked I it. read it. You picked it out. Well, I'm gonna give somebody to give somebody something to uh, think about, won't I? I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, you'll wreck your brain all night long. You'll dream about it. No. Where's the second? Where is it? Where's the second? I'll just look in the book later. No, you won't. Yeah, well. No, you won't. It's going to walk the key. Let's keep Sandy in our prayers. <laughs> she didn't say she was off tonight. Don't be laughing through the whole video. I village. I am. It takes the village. Shut up. I am doing the prayer request now. <laughs> Let's keep Sandy in our prayers. I don't know if she works tonight or not. She. <laughs> she Sandy says hi back. She didn't. Uh, hi, sure. She didn't say last night. She didn't message. You didn't message me. Sandy <sighs> said. Um, I uh, guess she has to work again tonight, so I'm assuming. So I hope you have a good night at work, Sandy. Let's pray for Sandy to have a good night at work. Um, let's pray for April and Linda Thacker. Let's pray for Eric. He needs a kidney. Let's pray for Macy. Let's pray for Kenny Wellman. He's still in the hospital. Um, let's pray for Sherm. Meeper over here. Meep, meep. Let's pray for Cindy Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Christopher Serbeck, Abby and Jimmy Myers. Jimmy Myers having issue problems right now. 
um, Shannon and her son Giovanni, Roy and Lori Mollett, Debbie Lee, Tammy Ashworth, Jayla, who's trying to get water to villages in Africa, Zach, who has brain injury and needs prayers just to be able to swallow and talk again, Ramona Henry, Mindy Gallimore, Melody Ramey, Sarah Gillum. Alright guys, that is our prayer request. Okay, we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.